PowerPoint that I forgot to tell you about, of course, I'll re I'll review again, is that intestinal section that we have there, you know, wherever it is with the villi and so on. Oh. But the heavy thing is you pass. Oh my gosh, it's right in my nose here. <laughs> Sorry about that. What I want to ask you with this model before we take off is, what do you call this membrane out here? Serosa. Serosa. And it's part of the visceral what? Peritoneum. And when this comes off of the whole intestine, it forms a double layered membrane supporting the small intestine called the mesentery. Oh, and by the way, this is something that students oftentimes get in trouble with on test two if we ask this. Of it. You look at this model right here. You will notice as you look at this model, I'm sorry you're back there, Elizabeth, but you look at this model right here, this transverse colon, has a membrane supporting it. That's the membrane right here. Keeping it from falling down here, you see, supporting it. This is called the transverse mesocolon. Mesentery means the entery part of that refers to the small intestine. The proper name for small intestine is enteron. Thus, if you had an inflammation or infection in your small intestine, what would it be? Enteric. Enteritis. Enteritis. What if it's in your stomach? Stomachitis. Gastritis. <laughs> what if it's in your colon? Colitis. Colitis. I guess if it's in your rectum, then, well, anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I, uh, what if you've got sores in your mouth? What do you call that? Canker sores. Canker sores. <laughs> well, it could be canker sores. <laughs> you know, because of what you're doing there. <laughs> that would be called stomatitis. What about pharynx? It's called a sore throat, right? Mm -hmm. pharyngitis. Properly, pharyngitis. Esophagus, esophagitis. So, you just name the structure, usually a technical name for it, and put itis behind it, you've got the infection or inflammation. Uh, but enteritis and uh, colitis can be very dangerous things as you, as you read your you know. Any itis can be, I guess. Appendicitis, colitis, 